Hello everyone and good evening. My name is Brittany Faber, the reigning 2011 Sheboygan County Fairs to the Fair. I currently manage a thousand cow dairy at Soaring Eagle up in Newton. My past consists of showing cattle and pigs at the Sheboygan County Fair for multiple years. I'm here this evening with two special guests at the Sheboygan County Fairs to the Fair Gala. With me this evening is Alice in Dairyland and the Wisconsin State Fairs to the Fair. First up is Alice in Dairyland, Rochelle. Rochelle, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. Well, I'm the 65th Alice in Dairyland, and I grew up on my family's dairy and cash crop farm in Lodi, so not too far, uh, right in the center of the state. And I grew up um, raising animals, being active on my family's farm, involved in 4-H, and I went to school at the University of Wisconsin Platteville, majoring in agribusiness. Great. Thank you for coming this evening as well. Can you tell me a little bit about the process it took to become Alice? It's a very long process to become Alice. The application is actually due in January, and then an interview happens in February, and the finals are in May. So it's several months, and the finals itself is a three-day process where you do uh, TV interviews, radio interviews, one-on-one -on -one interviews with a selection panel, and uh, you tour a lot of agribusinesses to learn about our state's rich agriculture history and heritage and be able to share that um, in a short speech at the finals as well. Great, thank you very much. So what does the rest of your schedule as Alice look like? I am busy. Uh, I started officially last Monday, so I've been on the job for one week and have been active. I've been traveling to Dairy Breakfast. June is Dairy Month, and I've also been um, invited to attend baseball games and speak on behalf um, of dairy producers at these dairy-themed events. So Wisconsin agriculture is $59 billion strong, and our dairy industry itself generates $26 billion worth of that 59. Um, so we've got a lot to be proud of here in America's Dairyland, and you know I look forward to the many adventures to come this year. Great, thank you. So is there anything else that you'd like to tell us about Wisconsin's agricultural industry? Well, like I mentioned, Wisconsin agriculture is so, so diverse. We have a very strong dairy industry, but we also have a lot of other commodities that we're number one in. Cranberries, for example, are, you know, Wisconsin's a leader in cranberry production, mink production. We've got Christmas trees, vegetables, you know, the list goes on. And that's something that we should really be proud of and uh, enjoy because that is part of our Wisconsin way of life and, you know, something that you and I can appreciate. And it ends up on our our food tables a lot of the time. Great, thank you very much, Rochelle. Our next, our next special guest this evening here at the gala in Johnsonville is Rochelle Cassinson from the Wisconsin State Fairs to the Fairs. Rochelle, welcome. Hi, Brittany. Thank you so much for having me tonight. I'm so excited to be here. Glad for you to attend. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your basic backgrounds? Sure. My name is Rochelle Kassinson, like you said. I am the 2012 Wisconsin Fairs to the Fairs. I grew up on a cash crop farm in Union Grove, which is located in Racine County. I am currently a senior attending the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater, where I'm studying to earn a bachelor's degree in elementary education with a minor in special education. And I'm excited to graduate in th this coming December. Great. Thank you very much. Um, can you tell us a little bit about where you were crowned and the process it took to become state fairist? I was crowned the Racine County Ferris of the Fair last July and ran for the state position in January. And my title started then, and I will go until this coming January where I will crown the 2013 Wisconsin Ferris of the Fairs. In the process of becoming the Ferris of the Fairs, I had to go through a variety of interviews, both individual and group, sit with judges at dinners, and basically represent the fair industry in the best that I can. So it was a great process, and I met a lot of great girls through the process. Great. Thank you very much for your input. Can you tell us a little bit about your schedule and what you look forward to for the rest of your year's reign? So far, I've been able to hit a variety of Ferris crownings, like tonight's festivities. I have also been able to go to Dairy Breakfast, the Cheese Exposition held in Milwaukee, as well as Cows on the Concourse, where I was able to talk about the dairy industry in the fair industry. And so it's a really great way to meet people. I look forward to attending as many county fairs as I can. There are 76 county, district, and state fairs in Wisconsin, so I'm going to try to hit as many of those 76 as I possibly can, as well as be the official hostess to the 2011 Wisconsin State, or 2012 Wisconsin Fair. Great, thank you. Can you tell us what's new and upcoming at the Wisconsin State Fair this year? 
Definitely. This year at the Wisconsin State Fair, you can see a shark show where a live person will jump into the tank to feed the sharks. There will also be a fair museum where you can go see the 161 years of the State Fair. Uh, there is also a new carnival amusement area, so that's really great. Bring the kids out. It's going to be such a great time in a Disneyland-like atmosphere. And also new this year is you can buy fair tickets at any festival of foods in Wisconsin. And you just simply go to the cashier and ask for a $5 ticket, and that goes through June 30th. Great. Thank you very much. We'd like to thank everyone for joining us this evening here at Locks Hall in Johnsonville. Good evening. Welcome to the 2012 Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair Gala. I am Heather Lightbaum, and I am so honored to have been asked by the Ferris Committee to be here again with you this year, serve as your MC, and share in this exciting evening where we will learn about more amazing young women in our community and celebrate Sheboygan County agriculture along with the traditions of the Sheboygan County Fair. Sheboygan County is truly a special place that I know I couldn't be happier or more proud to be from and happier to call home with my husband Joe and raise our three children, Andrew who's five, William who's three, and Lucy, 18 months. And like all of you, I have many fond memories of the County Fair. As a child, I enjoyed walking through the barns and sharing sweet treats with my grandparents. Cream puffs, of course, they were my Grandma Lucy's favorite. And hopefully as Joe and I enjoy the fair with our children, we are creating special memories for them as well. And speaking of unique memories, our 2011 Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair has had a great year. Brittany Faber is 21 years old and the daughter of Dennis and Rebecca Faber. She is a graduate of Plymouth High School and Lakeshore Technical College where she received a technical diploma in dairy herd management. She is currently employed at Soaring Eagle Dairy as assistant herds person. Let's give a warm welcome to our 2011 Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair, Brittany Faber. My name is Brittany Faber, and tonight is my final moment as a 2011 Sheboygan County Fair of the Fair. It doesn't seem like long ago I was here competing at this very event. It was one busy year, but boy, it was worth it. And it really went by fast. Tonight, I am pleased to say that we have four very qualified contestants that are vying for this position. Leading up to the gala, the ladies had to send in an application and resume. Then, contestants, committee members, and myself attended a Dale Carnegie training course to better prepare us for this position and other life endeavors. Throughout today, each individual contestant went through individual interviews, workshops, and group interviews, and attended uh, workshops with the Wisconsin State Fairs, Alice in Dairyland, and myself. Tonight, you will witness their stage performance and speaking skills by presenting their self-introduction and radio advertisement. I am proud to say that I have a slight connection with each of these ladies, from showing pigs and bearing sows late in the morning with Liz Limburg, being a part of FFA, going to school with Abby, working with Vanessa and the rest of the Vanderbilt family with Taylor's Memorial Raffle, and getting to know Steph at last year's gala and Dale Carnegie training courts. I am very confident to say that any of these ladies will do an outstanding job representing our county and our fair. I would like to thank all the committee members, fair board members, and fairs program sponsors for your continuous support throughout the years. And a special thank you goes to Lax Hall for hosting our gala again this year, the judges for judging our event, and the 4-H youth for the entertainment this evening. Good luck to all of the contestants, and thank you all for attending the gala showing your support for the contestants of the Sheboygan County Fair. Enjoy the evening and thank you all once again. At this time, we'd like to recognize the men and women in service to our great country and those that have given their lives. 
Please rise if you are currently serving in our military and those veterans who have served and are able so we may thank you all for your sacrifice for our freedoms. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now we'll begin with our candidate introductions. Each candidate will introduce herself, and we will welcome them in alphabetical order. First, let's meet Abby Gazer. Hi, I'm Abby Gazer. My parents are Brian and Jean. I grew up on my family's dairy farm. I'm currently working as the parlor manager. I'm also employed at Kellogg's Foods part-time merchandiser. My fair experience started off with Farmer Bud and progressed into 4-H dairy cattle showing at state and county fairs. In my free time, I enjoy playing softball in the so fall and summer leagues, and I also enjoy experimenting with different foods and making meals for my family and friends. My goals are to buy registered Holsteins and continue my education. Thank you. Next, we'll meet Stephanie Kemp. Hi, I'm Stephanie Kemp from Plymouth, Wisconsin, where I have lived with my parents, Mary and Jeff Kemp, for my entire life of 20 years. I'm currently attending the University of Wisconsin, River Falls, studying biology to become a doctor of veterinary medicine. Over the years, I have participated in numerous leadership activities that could help me fulfill the very important role of Ferris of the Fair. Thank you. Next, we'll meet Liz Limber. I'm currently attending Carroll University as a biology major. In the future, I hope to accomplish my dream of becoming a large animal veterinarian. As many of you already know, swine has always been a passion of mine. I want to continue being a mentor and share my knowledge to all 4-H and FFA members. Thank you. And next we'll meet Vanessa Vanderweel. Thank you. 
We have many special guests joining us this evening. And first we'll meet the 2012 Wisconsin Fairest of the Fairs, Rochelle Kassensen. siblings Tom, Tia, and Callie Jo. She's a 2008 graduate of Waterford High School and currently a senior attending the University of Wisconsin Whitewater. She's studying to earn a bachelor's degree in elementary education with a minor in special education and plans to graduate in December this year. Outside of school, she enjoys advising the Racine County 4-H ambassadors as well as helping at her family's meat processing facility. Please help me welcome to Sheboygan County, your 2012 Wisconsin Fairest of the Fairs, Rochelle Kassensen. Thank you, Heather. Hello, everyone, and thank you so much for coming out this evening. I am so excited to be here as well as find out who will be the 2012 Sheboygan Fairest of the Fairs. In my position as the Wisconsin Fairest of the Fairs, I have the opportunity to represent the 76 county, district, and state fairs in Wisconsin, as well as be the official hostess to the 2012 Wisconsin State Fair. I have had so much fun already and look forward to my summer representing the fair industry in Wisconsin. Thus far, I have attended a variety of events, some of which include Fairs of the Fair County, such like tonight's festivities, as well as Dairy Breakfast and a Cheese Exposition held in Milwaukee, and the Cows on Cow Course in Madison, representing the fair industry and talking about the dairy behind the fair industry. I look forward to continuing my travels this summer around the state as I try to attend as many of the fairs as I possibly can, and I will be coming back to Sheboygan County. The fair has always been a big part of my life. At the fair, you can experience so many different activities and events. And what is even great is that each fair is different from one another. So I can't even imagine something better than the fair and experiencing all these different activities that you can participate in. It's a great way for you to make memories and start traditions with loved ones, friends, and family. So whether you attend the fair for the carnival, the evening activities, or trying to find that food on a stick, I encourage you all to go out and visit the fairs this summer. Not only Sheboygan County, but the other fairs located in Wisconsin. I also encourage you to attend the Wisconsin State Fair presented by U.S. Cellular August 2nd through the 12th. This year at the State Fair, we have a variety of new events, some of which include uh, a shark show, where they will have a live person diving in and feeding the sharks, a fair museum um, depicting the 161 years of the state fair, as well as a new carnival amusement area held in the same place but with a new atmosphere. So really great things happening down at State Fair. I also would like to encourage you to go purchase your State Fair ticket at any festival booth. For $5, you can purchase a ticket at any cashier when you're checking out and that is now through June 30th. So make sure you all go out and buy those state fair tickets. Lastly, I just want to congratulate all the contestants on how far you've made it. I've had the opportunity to get to know the contestants today, and any one of them would make such a great contribution as well as asset to the Sheboygan County Fair. And I look forward to seeing whoever is crowned, and I will be nervous for you. So again, thank you so much for having me tonight, and I look forward to seeing you all this summer. Now a little bit about our day and the selection panel. The selection team started at 3 o'clock this afternoon doing individual interviews and a group interview and had a light dinner with the candidates so far. Their jobs aren't over yet as the candidates are still being evaluated on their professionalism, speaking ability, and fair knowledge. I will ask that they please stand as we recognize them for their commitment to the program. Amy Ryan. Amy is a public relations and freelance writer for several agricultural publications. 
She graduated from the University of Wisconsin-Madison with degrees in agricultural journalism and dairy science. Amy and her husband, Chad, are dairy producers at Ryan View Holsteins and reside in Fond du Lac with their two active children. Brent Singula is from Manitowoc and co-owner of Irish Acres. Actively involved in Farm Bureau, Brent and his wife Becky are past winners of the State Achievement Award and former State Young Farmers Chairs. Brent is a graduate of the Farm Bureau Leadership Institute. Brent and Becky have three children, 15, 8, and 6. Welcome, Brent, as well. Lori Rip. Lori is from Wanakee, farms a cash crop, cash crop operation with her husband, State Representative Keith Rip. Lori is actively serving on the fair board of the Lodi Agricultural Fair and co chairs the affairs committee. A mom of three children, Lori experienced one of her proudest moments as a parent when her daughter, Rochelle, was selected as the 65th Alice in Dairyland. Please join me in thanking the selection panel for this time. We have other special guests you would like to introduce, including the spider up here on the podium. <laughs> <laughs> Since we've already, already met our 2011 Fair to the Fair for you favor, Rochelle left it here for me. <laughs> Brittany, Brittany Favor, please stand. Our, uh, we'll introduce our special guest. <laughs> our 65th Alice in Dairyland, who we will learn more from later, Rochelle Rip. Wisconsin Fairs of the Fairs, again, Rochelle Castleton. We have former Sheboygan County Fairs joining us this evening, Brianna Wimler. Abby is 
22 with from Plymouth and the daughter of Brian and Jean Gazer. She's a graduate of Plymouth High School and attended Fox Valley Technical College. She is currently employed at her family's dairy farm, Gazer Dairy, as the parlor manager. She is also employed by Kellogg's as a part-time merchandiser. Her future goals include going back to college to finish her culinary arts degree. Her long-term goals include owning her own registered animals and saving money to travel and see the world. Hey everyone, I'm so excited. The Sheboygan County Fair is only a few weeks away. There's fun for everyone. The children can't wait to hop on rides, eat cotton candy, visit animals, and laugh at Grandpa Cratchit. The adults are already toe-tapping as they await their favorite polka, country, and rock performers. Then it's off to the pig races, sprint car races, and tractor pulls. So if you see me, say hi, Abby Gazer, your fairest of the fair. See you there, August 30th through September 3rd at the Sheboygan County Fairgrounds in Plymouth. Okay, we have our impromptu question. A neighboring county is considering developing a Ferris of the Fair program. They contact you as Ferris and ask for your opinion. How do you respond? I would respond as, go for it. It is a great opportunity for the young girls and even boys to get involved in their community and teach them about your fair and show them all the great aspects of going to a, sh a county fair and all the projects that the little 4-H'ers, even the educational building with the schools surrounding are involved and then all the great just 4-H projects that showing animals, all the woodwork, crafts, and the school projects in the educational building where they get to show off their children's artwork. And I think it would be a great opportunity for your county to get uh, fairs program. <laughs> Next, we will welcome Stephanie Kemp. Stephanie is 20 years old in the limit and the daughter of Jeff and Mary Kemp. She's a graduate of Sheboygan Lutheran High School and is currently attending UW River Falls, majoring in biology with a minor in animal science, pre-vet. This summer, she will be working at the Plymouth Aquatic Center as a lifeguard and lessons instructor and at Bemis Manufacturing Company. Her future goals include obtaining her bachelor's degree in biology. She would then like to apply to veterinary school and then the master's international program through the Peace Corps. Her long-term goals include opening her own small and large animal veterinary clinic and continue with volunteer work. If you like monster trucks and tractor pulls, then what you must do is pack your car full. It's the Sheboygan County Fair, so take some notes. You can see all the rabbits, sheep, cows, and goats. But that's just the beginning. Think of all the games you could be winning. 4-H milkshakes and hot Wisconsin cheese, enough food to make you more than pleased. With bands like 76 Juliet, you'll have fun singing and dancing, I'd like to bet. I'll see you there at the Sheboygan County Fair this August 30th through September 3rd. So go out and spread the word. Thank you. And now our impromptu question for Stephanie. A neighboring county is considering developing a Ferris of the Fair program. They contact you as Ferris and ask your opinion. How do you respond? If a neighboring county decided to develop a Ferris of the Fair program, I would highly encourage it. The opportunity that is given to me now is one that I can take a lot of stuff from, a lot I've learned, um, a lot of interactions I've had with people. I've learned so much about Sheboygan County itself, and I would highly, highly recommend anyone to do this. Thank you. And again, we'll meet Vanessa Vanderweel. Vanessa is a 
Tina from Waldo, the daughter of Jay and Cindy Vanderbilt. She's a graduate of Oostburg High School and currently attending Lakeland College, majoring in history with a minor in Spanish and nonprofit management. She is currently employed as a dietary aide at Pine Haven Christian Home. Her future goals include graduating from college. After graduation, she would like to become an archivist at a historical society or company and attend UW Milwaukee for her master's in museum studies. Hello everyone, this is Vanessa Vandrill, 2012 Fairs to the Fair, and I would like to personally invite you and your family to the Sheboygan County Fair, August 30th through September 3rd. This year we have entertainment for your entire family, including lumberjack shows for the little ones, and we have some awesome de demolition derbies for those that are more into adventure in your group. We'd like to have you check us out online at www.shebcofair.com and I look forward to seeing you and your family at the Sheboygan County Fair. Thank you, Vanessa, and I have an impromptu question for you. A neighboring county is considering developing a Ferris of the Fair program. They contact you as Ferris and ask for your opinion. How would you respond? I would say that it would be an awesome idea for another county to consider a new a Ferris to the Fair program. Not only does it help them find a good representative for their fair and what they're looking for to promote it, they're also helping girls in the community be able to learn new skills like public speaking, communication, and things like that. And it works really well for them to be able to have someone to promote them in a positive manner. And Liz Lindbergh. Liz is 19 from Glenbula, the daughter of Jerome and Barbara Lindbergh. She's a graduate of Plymouth High School and currently attending Carroll University, majoring in biology with intent of pre-veterinary medicine. She's currently employed at Dairy Doctors Veterinary Services and during the school year is a phonathon supervisor and planner with Carroll University. In three years, her goal is to apply to the UW School of Veterinary Medicine. Her long-term goals are to become a large animal veterinarian and own a hobby farm. The Sheboygan County Fair is a lot of fun from A to Z. Animals, bands, cotton candy, demolition, entertainment, farmer bud, grandpa cratchit, horses, ice cream, judging contest, kettle corn, lumberjack show, motocross, racing, night lights, oil can, Harry, project rides, quilts, Sales, tractor pull, udders, vendors, winners, excitement, yo-yo balloon, and the zipper. Join me at the Sheboygan County Fair from August 30th to September 3rd, where it's fun from A to Z. Thank you. Thank you, Liz. I have an impromptu question for you. A neighboring county is considering developing a fairest of the fair program. They contact you as Ferris and ask your opinion. How would you respond? If a neighboring county would ask me to help them start up a new Ferris the Fair program, I would help them by first encouraging them to do so because having an ambassador of the fair definitely helps with promotion, education, and being a role model. So if there is someone who would want to do that, I'd definitely help them with their candidates, their applications, and everything they need to become a Ferris of the Fair County. Thank you. Thank you, candidates. Let's give them all a round of applause for their first So well done, ladies. At this time, we will actually excuse our judges. We're to this point already in the evening, so thank you. Thank you, judges. At this time, we would like to meet another special guest. 
Rochelle Whip is our 65th Alice in Dairyland. She's from Lodi, Wisconsin, and raised in her family's Dane County Dairy and Cash Crop Farm. She graduated from UW Platteville in 2009 and is an associate marketing manager for Madison based Filament Marketing. Let's welcome to Sheboygan County, Rochelle Rip. Thank you all for having me here today, and congratulations to the four young women here who just gave it their all, and uh, I hope you can breathe now, aside from me, maybe. <laughs> I remember sitting in those seats uh, as a fair, so the fair for the Lodi Agricultural Fair a couple years ago now. Um, so, great job. I look forward to seeing you guys out there active, continuing to promote the fair industry and our agriculture industry. Welcome, all of you, to the Sheboygan County First of the Fair Gala. My name is Rochelle Ripp, and I am the 65th Alice in Dairyland. I was selected on May 19th, and in that moment, my life changed. <laughs> this is a one-year contract position through the Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection. And in my role, I get to travel across the state of Wisconsin, putting on over 40,000 miles in one year. That's more than enough to circle the globe. Pretty amazing. In my first week, I already put on over 1,000 of those miles attending dairy breakfast, as well as dairy themed baseball games to cheer on the Wisconsin Timber Rattlers and the Milwaukee Brewers, where I've been educating consumers of all ages on the importance of including three servings of dairy products per day in their food choices. June is Dairy Month, a time to celebrate our high quality products, outstanding care of the animals, and our dedication to preserving our natural resources. To appreciate how far we've come, we need to take a step back to look at our agriculture heritage. The original pioneer farmer grew enough food to feed their family. Today's American farmer produces enough to feed 155 people. A pioneer farmer was lucky to have one dairy cow. Today's Wisconsin farmer has an average of 100 cows driving our $26 billion dairy industry. Our first president, George Washington, was also an innovative farmer. He used new fertilizers, crop rotation, and equipment. In fact, Washington invented a tool to make planting crops easier. His design was the foundation to modern day planters that we see in the fields today. Now let's take a look at how Wisconsin pioneers have cultivated the way toward modern agriculture. W.T. Ford founded the Wisconsin Dairymen's Association. A trendsetter in his time, Ford tested his ideas on farm and communicated his findings by publishing his and communicated his findings by publishing Ford's Dairyman magazine. His passion to share ideas continues to inspire dairymen across the state to keep our competitive edge as America's Dairyland. Alice in Dairyland shares a similar passion to educate and engage consumers. Modern technology allows each farmer, as well as Alice in Dairyland, to tell agriculture story and communicate directly with today's consumers. Farmers, like consumers, access online information wherever they are, even from their fields. And if you enjoy a cold, sweet treat in an ice cream cone like I do, we can thank our pioneer, Dr. Stephen Babcock, for his invention. The butterfat tester helped farmers measure how much butterfat was in their cow's milk, which is still used today. Measuring butterfat, a key ingredient to creating those quality, delicious, and nutritious calcium treats. Let's not forget that ice cream is the perfect pairing with other tasty Wisconsin products, such as mint, strawberries, tart cherries, and many, many more. These commodities are part of Wisconsin's diverse agriculture industry, which generates $59 billion annually. While our agricultural pioneers have paved the way for progress, it's our consumer demand that continues to inspire upcoming pioneers to produce enough high quality products to feed a growing world. It's that pioneer's 
spirit that is shared across Wisconsin that is truly something special from Wisconsin. Thank you for the support of the Fairs of the Fair program here in Sheboygan County. As you heard, these young ladies are ready to get promoting the county and the fair program that you have here. And they are the future, the voices of our agriculture and our fair industry. And I think they will do an excellent job. So thank you for having me. Good luck to the girls. And thank you all for your support of this program. Providing an update of this year's fairs activities, representing the Sheboygan County Fair Association's board president, Gary Vanderken. We all know how important and appreciate all the work that they do, and so we'd like to take another moment to thank him and the board for everything that goes into the fun that we have and the positive impression their work brings to Sheboygan County. Let's welcome Gary for an update.
great, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Accidental Discoveries, a lesson on just being yourself. This musical was written by Logan Schreiber, a member of the Johnsonville Hustlers 4-H Club. Discover the message in the musical that we should all look beyond what we see on the outside of people. People may surprise you when they have and have more in common with you than you think. So sit back and enjoy Accidental Discoveries, a lesson on just being yourself. Dankeschön. Three male foreign exchange students from Germany mistake their English and accidentally attend up attending the Betsy Ross Elementary School. During their stay, they make some unexpected discoveries. I wonder how the Americans are gonna tweet us. And sure may be fine to play football with our American friends. Our schedule says that in science class, we'll be learning fun facts about plants. I wonder if there'll be any deers in class. Yeah, maybe we can scare them with the frogs. Look, he'll be on. Discovery number one, an all-girls school. Wait a minute, all-girls school? Oh no, what do we do? Quick, let's hide in here. As the boys hide, they talk about how to survive in an all-girls school. Girls don't like to play sports, get dirty, play with bugs or slimy creatures. Girls are about frills, lace, makeup, dresses, sparkles, and worst of all, pink. <laughs> but knowing that they didn't want to go back to Germany, they decided it would be easier to try to fit in than rather be so different from everyone else.
it. Yeah! I didn't expect them to be so good at everything. Or enjoy playing sports like we do. We just might survive the day after all. We were afraid, we were petrified When we saw we were no boys When we looked far and wide And we spent some time with them Just to keep our trip alive And we learned we shared things we like Fun we had besides And now I I will survive But I really want this itchy dress Be off my side All the fun things that they do Well, they're just like me and you we learned a valued lesson here. Now we will survive. <laughs> Discovery number four. Just be yourself. Lunch is over. Put your lunch back.
First lesson I learned was to observe and to think outside the box. I owe a huge thank you to the committee members for teaching this to me, and you probably didn't know you impacted me as such. Each committee member has also taught me something, something different. Starting with Courtney, she taught me no matter what is going on, to always have a smile on your face and present yourself positively. You never know whose life you can impact. Not once have I ever seen her without a smile on her face, and that has rubbed off on me and made me a happier person. One that has shown me tremendous strength and to be proud of who you are and represent yourself well is Brenda. One face, B5 foam foam, enough said. <laughs> Verla. She's no longer on our committee, but with her modern, unique fashion and style, she taught me to express myself and stand out. It's important to leave a lasting, positive impression on people, no matter if it's kids or the media. Sue and John taught me hard work and to work towards what you strive to achieve. It must be in the farmer's blood. Barb taught me to get involved and participate in many events as possible to widen my knowledge of my community and my fair. Kelly has taught me to push myself and get outside the box. There was a lot of help in the Dill Carnegie class, but she demonstrated that acting foolish to get a point across may not be so foolish in the end. Kara, she was always laughing and giggling. I always learn to embrace every opportunity and make the best of it. Leanne and now all the other ladies show me that my family is important and to value their support. No matter how many activities are going on and how crazy my year got, I always have my family to fall back on, and for that I am thankful. New lessons were learned and many more to come, I'm sure. We are all here this evening because we all share one passion, the Sheboygan County Fair. And that wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the fair board and the fair employees. I had an amazing week bonding with all of the office ladies and the other members. When I wasn't being shuttled around on a golf cart and being rushed here and there and pulled here and pulled there, the office ladies always made it known if I ever needed anything or needed a place to rest that I had somewhere to go. I thank them very much for making my 2011 Fair Week lots of fun and entertaining. Those ladies were a hoot. I did so many events at the fair, from opening up for various fans and slipping in the mud in my formal dress to welcome the sold-out audience for the Monster Truck Show. One of my highlights was walking around the fair, talking with other fairgoers and children. My goal was to speak to as many children and youth as possible. And what helped me accomplish that was having a bag of Tootie Fruities. <laughs> I learned so much about my fellow community and other interests at the fair. I have not just widened my knowledge about the Sheboygan County Fair or the county in general, but found out a lot about myself as well. I am very thankful for this opportunity that I was given, and I have truly grown as an individual. I thank you all along, that have supported me along the way drove me in parades and helped fix dresses, which was almost a full-time job. I also want to thank Warren Bobat, the 2011 Sheboygan County Fair's attendant, who has helped me through so much this past year, multiple events she attended for me and with me. I can't thank her enough for all of her dedication to this program and to the fair. I was truly blessed to have her at my side, seeing how we've known each other since we were in diapers. I want to thank everyone once again for coming for all their effort and supporting that was put into this program. Thank you very much, and I was truly honored to serve as your 2011 Sheboygan County Fair to the Fair. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the evening, and good luck to the contestants. Representative Steve Cassell and State Senator Joe Lightham to the stage for a special presentation for Brittany.
Thank you, Heather. Welcome, everybody. It's uh, it's good to be back here at Lax Hall. You know, thinking about uh, how many times we've been here over the years. Actually, this is the, the ninth time that we've been together consecutively at Lax Hall to select the Ferris to the Fair. And uh, this will be the eighth fair Ferris that we'll be recognizing. And it's, it's, it's obviously a great thing. I want to point out, um, in all those years, there's never even been an attempt to recall the Ferris to the Fair. <laughs> Senator Leibelman and I are very, very happy to, uh, to have an opportunity to participate in a small way by recognizing, uh, with a citation from the Wisconsin Legislature, the outgoing fairs to the fair. And uh, it's really, you know, we, we've always been so proud of, of the young ladies who represent us, represent Sheboygan County. Uh, it's an opportunity, every time I've, I've had an opportunity to meet one of the new Ferris after, after they've begun their reign. I'm reminded of just how lucky we are, not only to be living in Wisconsin, but the cherry on top is to be living in Sheboygan County, Wisconsin. It's really wonderful. So, let me begin. Uh, I, I'd like to read the citation. And, uh, whereas Ms. Brittany Faber of Plymouth, Wisconsin, USA has successfully completed her honorable tenure as Sheboygan County Ferris to the Fair, and whereas Brittany, with her accomplishments as Ferris to the Fair, proudly displays and represents the very best that Sheboygan County has to offer. Whereas Brittany Faber has worked diligently to strengthen Wisconsin's agricultural sector and raise public awareness about the positive impact agriculture has on our economy and our daily lives. And whereas Brittany Faber has, Brittany represents the bright future of Wisconsin agriculture and the Sheboygan County community wishes her well as she works to advance her career in dairy herd management. Therefore, State Senator Joe Leibum and State Representative Steve Costell hereby recognize and congratulate Brittany on her dedication to the promotion of, the Wisconsin, of Wisconsin agriculture and her service as Sheboygan County's Ferris of the Fair. I'm gonna sneak up here and do an extra special presentation tonight as well. I wanna congratulate Brittany and thank her for her great service over the past year. But Representative Castell also recognized Locks Hall. And the representative and I would like Carl to join us up on the stage here at this time if he can. Hopefully he's not serving. Do you have a quick? Do this. I'm sorry. Why don't we have Carl make his way? The whole Locks family. Awesome. Come on up, everybody. The whole Locks family. presentation than I expect tonight. We're going to have Courtney start us off here in a special presentation for Lox Hall. to be celebrating 100 years with the Locks family and Locks Hall. Um, for the past eight years, we've had the pleasure to work with each of you as we prepared for this wonderful event to support our young people. And what reminds me so much of our program is so much of what I feel your family lives by, and that is faith, family, and friends. Throughout the years, you've not only touched us the last eight years, but for the last 100 years, Lox Hall and this family have contributed to the community by all that they do because they love the Lord and they love their family and the friends that they've made over the years. So on behalf of the Ferris Committee, um, we've put together this bouquet 
it's an artificial arrangement that will last for hopefully another <laughs> hundred years. <laughs> and it has on here a, a certificate that says, congratulations, Locke, on a hundred years. Sheboygan County Fairs to the Fair. And it has each one of our past eight fairs that have been selected here at Locke's Hall. So congratulations <laughs> to you. Our family has supported 4-H. I can remember being in 4-H and we just had a, a wonderful experience when we were in it as a family and we would hope that every parent would bring their, their children into the 4-H program or grandchildren because there's so much to be learned by uh, being involved in 4-H. Thank you. Wisconsin. They go, thank you, Courtney. Again, a hundred years. Think of these walls to talk. You know? <laughs> Just <Boy. laughs> imagine all of the fun, serious, and emotional times that have been had in this facility over the past 100 years, including this great event of focusing on the fairs of the fair. But the Locke family has been focused on that 100 years, as Courtney said, and as we all know, on really treating their customers like family and working to make our experiences here the most fun and enjoyable and just kind of family kind of based as they can be. And on behalf of the citizens of the area, Representative Pistel and I wanted to recognize the Locke family on their 100 years of committed service to, to this facility. And I mean, a hundred years of being in the restaurant business, that is just amazing. It's just awesome that you're all still smiling and <laughs> <laughs> wanting to be here tonight and you know wanting to continue to serve. So we wanted to recognize them. I know you had a great festivity a couple of months or a couple months ago, right. and we weren't able to be there, but we wanted to recognize the Locke family on 100 years of excellence in running Locke's Tavern and Ballroom. Let's give them a congratulations. Thank you.
going back to work, of course. <laughs> At the 2011 Ferris, Brittany, we thank you very much for the great job that you did as our 2011 Ferris of the Fair. You are very hardworking, professional, and talented. We all respect you and commend you for always going the extra mile for our program. Great job, Brittany. Congratulations and best wishes for the future. Thank you for applying to become the next Ferris of the Fair. We've enjoyed working with you today and wish you all the best of the lot tonight. We look forward to working with you in the future. Our next group to be recognized is the Ferris Selections Panel. Oh my goodness, and they're not back yet. They are really working. We'll have to appreciate them later. Um, I also would like to thank uh, Ms. Rochelle Castinson our Wisconsin Ferris of the Fair, and our 65th Alice in Fairyland. The girls enjoyed our workshops, and we're honored to have you with us this evening to brighten our evening and share your positive messages. Congratulations. <laughs> and how about those 4-H members who took time to be here, and their wonderful parents. Thank you so much for sharing your talents with us. And it was great because there was so much laughter in the crowd, and, and we're just looking forward to great things from you in the future. We also want to say thank you to our MC, Heather Lydum, for giving up her evening to join us tonight. She has many talents, talents among those being a great mom, working with We Energies, and she also was a past Miss Wisconsin. So let's bring her back up here, right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you so much. all for joining us again this evening and for supporting our talented young leaders. The, the best to all of our candidates and please stay after the gala this evening for the winner's dinner donated by our generous sponsors. Thank you again. Have a great evening ladies and gentlemen. Folks, the exciting conclusion of our night. It's time to invite all the candidates to come forward on stage and to go through reminders as um, Courtney mentioned everyone's invited to stay after the gala, celebrate and enjoy the delicious products donated by our sponsors. And a reminder to the media and family, photos will be taken after the event at the front of the stage. So please come forward at that time. Each of the candidates will be receiving gift baskets worth several hundred dollars from our generous sponsors as well.
chapters, and I'll describe um, what will happen forward. The third runner-up will receive a $50 cash, to, um, cash prize from the Ferris program. The second runner-up also receives $50 cash from the Ferris program. The first runner-up will be active, filling the shoes of the Ferris in areas where she is not able to attend. First runner-up will receive a $200 cash award from new scholarship sponsors, Bill and Pauline Jens' family. Their granddaughter, Erin Jens, who is the 2008 Sheboygan County Ferris of the Fair, is with us tonight and is representing the family this evening. Thank you, Jens' family. And the 2012 Ferris of the Fair will be responsible for serving as Sheboygan County Fair official host Labor Day weekend, as well as participate and represent Sheboygan County in the state competition in January. The winner this evening will be receiving the Jean and Kathy Kastner Family Foundation Scholarship of $500. Thank you, Kastners. You will also receive a $250 scholarship award from a grant provided by the 2006 Farm Technology Days in Sheboygan County. May I have the envelope, please? I'm going to ask you to move to the front of the group when your name is called. Good luck to all of you, thank you, and we look forward to supporting you wherever your path leads in the future. Okay, here we go, our third runner up is third runner up is Abby Gazer.